what's going on everyone so it's been a while since so i've been on here to make a video been really busy a lot of things going on in my life um, new adventures new new career a lot of really good things but this past two weeks ago and i finally said i need to shed and we've been looking for a while and we just couldn't find the right shit that fit our needs. And we were scrolling through Lowe's and Home Depot one day and I found a pretty good deal. This shed that I am going to do a review on is a 12 by 8 um, Heartland. Uh, you can find this one at Lowe's. It's about 1250 something like that, 1250 bucks. Um, I did have a military discount so I probably paid maybe eleven twenty five before taxes. This shed is pre-cut so you pretty much either pick it up at the store or have it delivered to you and you build it yourself or you can have someone build it for you. I wanted to save the money so my neighbor and I actually picked up a shed for each of us that same day we started building our sheds. Uh, let's see. So, what I like about the shed, and I'm gonna come out here and show you the shed. I love that it has two doors. All the sheds I was looking at, the size that I initially wanted, only had one door, it wasn't big enough. It's about uh, 64 inches, so perfect for, you know, your um, lawn mowers, and a little a uh, like an ATB stuff like that um, riding on mowers let me turn the camera here so you can see so here it is this took with two people it was myself and my neighbor this took approximately a week and a half to build because yeah, about a week actually because we took our time with it we would work on it only in the evening for about three hours in the evening on one weekend we uh, pretty much tackled it as much as we could Let's go ahead and go this side. It's, uh, double doors 64 inches this also comes with a window shutters it's pretty cute nice um, So I decided to paint the inside. Uh, I did white all the way around the wall. You have a workbench, a shelf right there. You turn around on the right wall and you have another shelf right here. Um, again, pegboard. Not bad. Size on this is a 12, 12 by 8. One thing with this is that this kit didn't come with a floor, so you have to purchase everything to, to build your floor out. Okay, um, but the instruction manual does tell you everything that you need, and you can look at it beforehand before purchasing. Just go onto Lowe's website, and if you scroll all the way down, you can click the manual. It also doesn't come with shingles. You have to buy the shingles. Now, the instruction manual called for five bundles. I got five bundles, and guess what? I'm about to return a bundle because I only used about three and a half or so. So I still have some that I'm saving. I'm going to hold on to just in case there's a bad storm and I have to maybe replace a couple shingles, but I don't need an entire bundle. I really don't think that I'm Uh, my neighbor's actually still building his, so I'm gonna take us over there really quick so you can see what it looks like before painting, uh, before I had painted all this, and just kind of to have an idea of how it looks standing and whatnot. All right, so we are next door. As you can see, I uh, right there. Let's go down this way. 
Now, it's covered with tarps right now because we were supposed to get a pretty bad storm last night and we hadn't finished up his his roof yet. So you can see, it's like a tannish color. It's all, it, it does come primed and ready to paint from the manufacturer. Um, so that's pretty cool. Again, here's the flooring. So we had to do this again ourselves because it doesn't come, the kit does not come with the flooring. You got your joists right here. That's where the window's gonna go. And again, I came over here just so that you could see what it looks like, pretty much raw. When you put it together, it's pretty simple. You know, you start off with the base, obviously, okay? With your flooring, and that's gonna be your work area. You're gonna work on there. So you're gonna work on your left wall first, your right wall, you work on your back wall, and then this front wall right here. And it's very simple, y'all. Like, you can, you, you can do this yourself. But it's gonna take a little time, but you definitely can do it yourself, okay? There's the back, I didn't walk to the back of mine. Let's see. All in all, I want to say that I am really happy with the purchase uh, for the deal, for the price. And it was fun. It was a really cool experience. You know, I really got to bond with my neighbor. He's a really good friend. I see him as family. Uh, my wife got to help too. The kids got to help a little bit. And painting. Oh, I'll tell you what. Spray paint if you can, okay? Get, get, a, get a paint sprayer because rolling that or with a paintbrush is going to take you a long time it's it's not it looks small but it's not very small it's a, come on that's 12 by 8 so it's a lot of surface there that you have to paint but other than that for the price i really like it uh, let's go ahead and look at the website right now so you can see exactly what all it comes with all right so obviously lowes.com turn my phone here and again the name is heartland h-e-r-t-l-a-n-d and we have this one right here the 12 by 8 stratford salt box scroll down some as you can see it's pre-cut kit nothing to saw 64 inch extra wide doors again one of the main reasons why i really like this the bonus features window with shutters, shelving. It's got two shelves, the workbench and the pegboard. You scroll down some, it, it tells you what to get together. But really, all you have to go is into the, the manual. It'll tell you exactly what you need to do, what you need to get, for instance, for the flooring. There's some specs right there. Right now I'm looking for that manual so I can pop it open for you guys. Scroll down some. It's gotta be somewhere here. And we've gone all the way to the bottom. No. Go up. No, up. Right. Up past it. Right there. optional for those that are uh, I guess using a cement slab but it tells you exactly what you need how many two by fours galvanized nails floor panels again those are not included it tells you to get the three-quarter inch thick it's got two different sizes there you can get all three the same and then just cut it at the end Three tab shingles, five bundles. Again, remember I only used four, my neighbor did as well. I also only used one gallon of paint, but if you want to, go ahead. I used more than three tubes of caulk. 
drip edge. I did get more than 40 feet of the drip edge, so that's on you. I would advise to get another 10 feet. Let's go down to the floor. Right there. And really, people, this tells you exactly what you need to do. You do not have to be an expert builder. It tells you exactly how to cut each piece of wood, how to space them out. You're golden, I'm telling you. And again, I'm extremely happy with this. So leave a comment, let me know if you've purchased this before or if you have any questions.